As the January 15th deadline approached, most of the world waited in uncertainty. However, military leaders were fully aware of the strategy to be taken if Saddam did not withdraw from Kuwait. Massive and relentless airstrikes. For this policy of overwhelming the enemy with air power, the A-6 intruder was perfect. It carries a massive payload by any standard. In fact, it can carry more bombs than any other plane in the Navy. However, the intruder does not have the luxury of operating from vast runways as does the large Air Force bombers, but it must always return to its home at sea. When January 15th arrived with no sign of capitulation on the part of the Iraqi army, Airstrikes began immediately, and the intruders aboard the USS Roosevelt were among the first to be called into action. Intruder pilot Lieutenant Pete Rasnick flew in the early days of the war. It was a gorgeous day, morning, the sun had just come up. I uh, didn't see any type of uh, AAA uh, SAMs or anything. Got to our target, I, I, I remember rolling in on the target and just thinking to myself, it just seemed so benign. There's nothing out here. It's just like a training mission. We dropped their laser-guided bombs. I remember pulling off target, looking down to the left to see the bombs hit. I looked down, they hit the target. I looked back to the right, and a missile just streaked right up by us with a big contrail. And it's like my heart froze. I, I told my VN, I said, there are missiles in the air. Then I keyed the mic, and I tried to tell my wingman, who was now ahead of me, we had missiles in the air, but I remember my mouth was so dry, I couldn't really talk. But I got, got it out on the radio, we had missiles in the air. He's asking me where they are, I'm trying to explain to him where they are. By this time, three or four more had gone up really close to us, and all hell's breaking loose on the ground with AAA and stuff. I just remember, I didn't pull the throttles back until I was about 100 miles away from that target. And just remember looking down at the ground, thinking, this plane is going so slow. And I kept pushing the throttles as far as they would go. It just wouldn't go any faster. And I remember uh, my being and I looked at each other after we uh, had about an hour's worth of silence on the way back to the boat. We were both white as a ghost. And that was the one time we didn't think we'd make it back, but uh, we did. Flying during the day was not the preferred mission of intruder crews. Unlike the high-flying B-52s, intruder pilots did most of their attack work at low levels, well within the range of Iraqi anti-aircraft artillery. Because of this obvious danger, the intruder does its best work at night. <laughs> 